Hello, my name is Brad Otto, and I am the Director of Operations with FaithDirect. And I will be leading you through this fourth training video on the FaithDirect Church Administrator website. In this fourth training video, we will be discussing the utilities menu item, which includes the donor export and the contribution export, as well as reviewing the contact us menu item. Uh, so we will begin by mousing over utilities and selecting donor export to take a look at the donor export. Uh, what you can see here is that the donor export creates an easy to download Excel formatted file that contains detailed donor and uh, donor name and address information. Uh, and what you can do with this file is you can download it if you wanted to update in mass uh, your census software. Uh, you can you can sort it by by address or by last name or by inception date to to find the information that you're looking for. Uh, you can also download this file and sort it by inception date if you'd like to find out who your most recent faith direct enrollees are so that you can remove them from any uh, future envelope orders. Uh, so what we'll do here is you can see that we've got the church name slash ID in the drop down. Uh, again, as with all of our other reports and utilities, uh, if you are managing more than one church, you can choose the church you'd like to run the report for using this drop down. Uh, however, it does always default to uh, your primary church if you just manage one church. Uh, also available is whether or not you would like to include quit users in this exported file. Uh, what I'm going to do here is select yes from the drop down. Uh, it does default to no so that it won't include quit users. But for our purposes, we will export all users here that are in the Faith Direct Demo Church. So in order to export the file, you just hit Export Donors. And that will then initiate a download file here on your, on your local machine. What you can do is you can choose whether you'd like to open or save that file if you want to save it to your documents or your desktop to refer to it later. Uh, as with all of our other reports, this is a real-time snapshot of of the current settings within the FaithDirect system. So this may change by day as, as more users enroll or, or save their accounts uh, in the FaithDirect system here. So I'm going to go ahead and open that file, and we'll take a look at it. Again, uh, this file is viewed in uh, Microsoft Excel, uh, so it is an Excel-compatible file. I'm going to just go ahead and expand uh, all the columns here so that we can see everything that is in this file. Uh, the file starts off here with a FaithDirect ID uh, and church information, and then we've got the envelope number. Uh, for each of your users, that'll be listed here if that information has been filled in. Uh, and then we can see here that we've got any name information, uh, their salutation, uh, what would they like on their offertory cards, uh, what their address is, and other address information. And then we also have here, like I said, the inception date. And so this inception date is when these users enrolled in the FaithDirect program. So you can always sort this Excel spreadsheet by inception date to find who the most recent enrollees are. Uh, we've got the Quit Program column here that shows whether or not any of the users have quit the FaithDirect program. If you do, downloading it show uh, download it showing all users. Uh, we have the Suspended column, so this will show if you have any any accounts that are currently suspended because maybe their payment information needs to be updated. Uh, we also have the Church Member ID field, which, as you remember, when we looked at the the donor lookup or looking within donor accounts, uh, in many cases this Church Member ID field is going to be blank uh, because your church just is not using two unique IDs. Uh, however, if you are, uh, you would be able to look for that information here. And then lastly, we have the, the user's phone number and email address. So again, like I said, you can download this and save it to your machine if you'd like. Uh, you know, save it to your My Documents or, or your desktop, or if you have a network location, you need to save it there. Uh, and again, this is this is real time, so this may change uh, daily as users enroll or or change their enrollment in the program. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and, and close this right now. We're not going to save the changes that we made to it, and that'll take us now back to the Faith Direct administrative site. Uh, so here we're, we're back here now. We're going to go then to utilities and select the contribution export from the drop-down menu. And what this contribution export does is it creates uh, an easy-to-download again Excel formatted file that can be used to import donor contributions into your church uh, database or census software. Uh, many of our churches currently do collect import files from us. Uh, they, uh, prior to the release of this website, receive them via email. Uh, but what but what's possible is that we can configure the FaithDirect uh, system so that it can match your individual church's census software. Uh, and that's so that you can download every month the contributions that are made by your FaithDirect donors directly into the software if the software does have import capability. Uh, and that can save you the time of having to key those contributions each month. Uh, if you don't know whether or not your church's software is compatible or whether or not you're currently using import files, 
Uh, we do encourage you to just give us a call here on our toll-free number, 866-507-8757, uh, or uh, send us an email at info at faithdirect.net, and we can work with you to make sure that we get that, uh, that import file configured or let you know whether or not it's even possible. Uh, like I said, we do work with a lot of softwares already, uh, just to name a few. We work with uh, PDS and CMS and Parasoft and uh, Servant Keeper, uh, Logos, uh, and several others, including just a standard Microsoft Access database. So again, if, if you want to set this up, now we do encourage you to give us a call. It can be a big time saver uh, so to keep you from having to manually key in uh, any enrollees' contributions. Uh, but now we'll move on to how we actually use this export. Uh, what you do here, uh, as with the, like I said, with any of our other reports or utilities, is you select the church that you'd like to download that file for from the church name or ID field. Uh, then you select the month that you'd like to download the contributions for. And I'm going to select June of 2011. Uh, you can select uh, you know, any month that you need to. If you need to go back several years and, and download all those files, they can all be downloaded and imported at once if you'd like. Uh, so what we'll do then, now that we've selected the month, is we'll click on the Export Contributions button. Uh, and what this does, this takes us to a page where we need to verify all of our users' uh, envelope numbers or church assigned IDs. Uh, the first time that you use this contribution export, you will see a list here of every user that's currently enrolled in the FaithDirect program. Uh, and what you'll need to do is verify the church assigned ID or envelope number for each of those users and then lock them uh, to make sure that they can't be uh, changed by the user on the, on the, on the FaithDirect membership site. Uh, so you can see here that we've got listed the FaithDirect ID number, so that's the ID in the FaithDirect system. Uh, the church assigned ID, uh, in this particular case, it uh, looks like demo user didn't enter their assigned ID when they enrolled in the program, so there's nothing in this field. Uh, so this would be where you would key their envelope number, and I'm going to enter that here. Uh, and then you can choose to lock that user. And then you can see also then that we've got the user's information. And this, this is so that you can uh, look up their information in the census software without having to go into each individual donor account, uh, find out what their address is to make sure that you're entering the correct assigned ID or envelope number into our site. Uh, so like I said, the first time that you run this, you will see a list of all of the FaithDirect users. And we do encourage you to go through and check each one of those uh, just this first time to make sure that they're all correct before you go ahead and lock them all and, and download the export file. Uh, what you can do, if you do have a whole lot that you need to do, you can go through as you can is update the assigned ID for all of them. And then you can just click on this Lock All button. And what that will do is just create a check uh, box in and, and all of those uh, check boxes. And that way you can just hit Submit as opposed to having to hit the check box for each one of those uh, users. Uh, so once we've got confirmed that we have this information for all of our users, we're going to hit on the Submit button. And that's going to initiate a download file. Uh, however, before we do so, we do want to touch on uh, the fact that uh, in many cases, someone may have enrolled in the FaithDirect program before they've actually registered for your parish office. Uh, and what we do is, is we recommend that you set them up within your census software. Uh, that way we can make sure that you can download their contributions. And then you can always go to the donor lookup and look that user up and contact them about uh, finishing their formal registration with the parish. Uh, this particular utility here the, that is checking envelope numbers does make sure that you don't download a file that doesn't have either incorrect envelope numbers or something with no envelope number in it so that when you went to try and import it, it would cause problems. So what we do is we require that every uh, individual in, in the FaithDirect system does have a church assigned ID set up with their account. Uh, so if you try and save something with no church assigned ID and you hit submit, it's just going to reload that page for anybody that's not got a church assigned ID. Uh, you can also, uh, you know, like I said, the first time that you run this, uh, you will see that it has every user on your on your uh, church that's that's listed here. But then every subsequent month uh, following, it'll just be the anybody who's new to the FaithDirect program. So it'll be a much shorter list each time, and you'll just be able to go through it quickly, update those envelope numbers if they need to be updated, lock them all, and then hit Submit. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Submit now. We've entered that demo user's uh, church assigned ID. And just like the donor export, it just creates a download or a saved file that you can either save directly to your computer if you need to save it in your My Documents or if you have a, a special FaithDirect folder on your, on your network. Uh, you can also just open it up and, and view it before you imported that software. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and hit Open. And this is going to show us, again, an Excel formatted file. Uh, it looks like this particular one is in the PDS format. So you can see that we've got the date of the contributions. We have the fund for that contribution, as well as the contribution's activity name. 
Uh, and then we've got the amounts and the users' names and the users' uh, envelope numbers. And like I said, this is just the PDF software format. Uh, if your church is already using import files with us, uh, then you're already configured and, and ready to go. Uh, but again, if you're not, we do encourage you to give us a call here at Faith Direct at 866-507-8757, and we can work with you to get that information set up. Uh, so that is the contribution export. So then we'll move here lastly to the Contact Us page. Uh, and essentially on this Contact Us page, we just have the Faith Direct uh, main mailing address. Uh, we have the secure PO box address so that if anybody drops off enrollment forms at your parish office, uh, we do ask that you bundle those up and, and mail them to our PO box so that they can be entered into our system. Uh, we've got our main uh, contact email address, info at faithdirect.net. And then we have our telephone number underneath as well as our fax number. So that is the church administrator website. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, once again, my name is Brad Otto. I'm the director of operations here at Faith Direct. Uh, you can give me a call here in our office, 866-507-8757 at any time, and I can uh, address those questions. You can email me at brad at faithdirect.net, or you can just email our general customer service number, which is uh, info at faithdirect.net. Thank you.